welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Angela and I make faith and lifestyle videos to help girls grow in their relationship with God for today's video I wanted to talk about something that has been on my mind a lot recently and it's something that I feel like is very common in our world today especially with everything going on and that is anxiety and the first thing that I want to say is if you struggle with anxiety you're definitely not alone I think it's something that everyone struggles with at some point in their life to varying degrees and in different ways for example example for me it's this feeling of like oh like uneasiness right here in my gut and it comes when I am thinking over and over about a certain situation whether it's a relationship a job a friendship or a sickness or something like that um, it, I feel it like right in here like right in my gut and for you you might experience anxiety in a different way but the thing is God does not want us to live our lives in a state of constant fear, worry, and anxiety. In fact, he commands us in the Bible. He says, do not worry. And over and over again, I think the number one most repeated phrase in the Bible is do not fear, if that gives you any indication of how humans are. So in today's video, I'm gonna share a few practical things that I do to help me deal with anxiety and to help me find peace in the midst of anxiety. And just keep in mind, I am not a medical expert or mental health professional by any way shape or form and so these are just things that have been effective for me and I hope that by sharing them um, they might be able to help someone else as well so the first one is to pinpoint the root cause and this might take some self-reflection now sometimes you may know exactly what the root cause is other times you may need to dig a little deeper and think okay why am I feeling this way sometimes at least I know for me I feel like we try and distract ourselves from what's really getting at us because we don't want to deal with how we're feeling Feeling, but I find it helpful to identify and deal with the root cause head-on ask yourself the hard questions do some self-reflection ask yourself truly like why am I feeling this way get to the root cause and then from there bring it to God tell God about it pray about it journal about it just see what comes out and this is from the verse to cast all your anxieties onto him because he cares for you so the first tip I have is to just one pinpoint the cause and then from there unload it to God dig deep do the work ask yourself the hard questions and then bring it all to the feet of Jesus after that the second tip I have is then to talk to someone else about it we are all made to be in community Unity with one another we are not meant to carry the world on our shoulders and it really makes me feel so much better when I'm able to confide in somebody else because a lot of the times these anxious negative thoughts are all just in our head planted by the enemy and the worst thing that you can do in those times is isolate yourself surround yourself with good godly friends if you invite other people in your trusted friends and people around you can help to call out any lies or any crazy thoughts and remind you of your true identity and of the truth in God's word it also just feels really good to talk things out sometimes and to let all your feelings out okay and the third tip is one that I would probably say is one of the more important ones and that is to truly believe what you believe in as Christians we know that God is good God loves us and that God is in control but when is the last time you truly just reflected on that and truly just thought about how powerful how sovereign God is how much he truly truly loves you how much he sacrificed for you and would do anything for you and then just how good he is how you can see his goodness in everything in life in love in nature in his word and I feel like sometimes as Christians we grow used to the fact like okay I've heard a million times like I know God loves me but take the time to let that truth actually sink in and resonate with you like wow the God of the universe who is in control of all things loves me he loves me as his own child he accepted me into his family as his heir as his own child like think about the way a parent loves their child that's a reflection of how much God loves you and God loves each and every one of you enough to send his own son to die in place for you like that's not an easy thing to do you don't just do that for anyone 
He loves you so much and there's so many promises and reminders in his word of just how much he loves you. So this tip is pretty simple. You might already know that. Okay, I know Angela that God loves me. I know that's what they talk about in church. I've heard that so many times, but let that actually sink in that God, God of the universe loves you. Because when we put those three things together that God is good and God loves you, and God is in control, that equals peace. And let me tell you, that type of peace of knowing that and truly believing those things is a peace that the Bible says transcends all understanding. It's the peace from God. But you have to intentionally spend time to think about his promises, to think about his word, to get it into your heart. When you immerse yourself in the truth that he is good and that he loves you and that he is in control and you've spent time with God to know his loving character and his promises, his peace will automatically follow. And for me, it's a knowing in my soul that calms me and keeps me still. Take time to intentionally think about and read verses that remind you of how much God loves you and how good he is always and how in control he is. I'm going to share a page out of my journal of a few verses I wrote down that just really helped to remind me how much God loves you. So feel free to take a screenshot, but I encourage you guys to read the Bible for yourself to spend that quality time with God because it's truly such a great reminder of his goodness and love. So I don't know if you can see that. Okay, and the fourth one is something that I have to actively remind myself to do because I'm the type of person who likes to be in control of the things in my life and when things are outside of my control, that kind of triggers my anxiety as well and I start to spiral because I'm not in control of it. But number four is to remind yourself to surrender control and that you are not in control. Surrender that control, that grip that you have on whatever it is that you're, you might be feeling anxious about, surrender that to God. Remind yourself that God is sovereign and he is in control and not you. Lay your worries down at the feet of Jesus. Tell them to God. He wants to hear from you and who better to tell them to than the person who's actually in control of the whole universe. Remind yourself that God is the one that's truly in control no matter what you try and strive to do and truly believe that. God is sovereign above all things. He is in control and knows everything about everyone in every situation and he knows everything and is in control of everything so that you do not have to be. You can just be his child and depend on him. And a lot of times when you let go of that need for control, when you let go of the tight rein that you have on something and you surrender it to God, peace and freedom follow. And how great is it knowing that we can have such peace knowing that no matter what happens, God loves us and he has a plan for us and everything that he does, he works out for our good according to his purpose. Just knowing that and being able to find rest in that has been such a big help in helping me deal with anxiety. Okay, and the fifth tip that I have is to renew your mind with the truth. Fight back against the devil's schemes of putting negative thoughts in your head. And you do that by knowing what is true, knowing what God's word says. For me, practically, this means having some key verses memorized for when I start to feel anxious and need to speak truth over myself. Some of my go-to verses that I've memorized and I've said over myself many, many times is Isaiah 41.10, Psalm 23, and Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. For example, for Isaiah 41.10, if I'm starting to feel anxious about something or really nervous or just having that, you know, feeling in my gut, Sometimes I will say the verse as if God is speaking to me and I'll say, do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So when you're finding yourself with all these negative, anxious, worrisome, fearful thoughts, don't just sit there and accept those thoughts and think about those thoughts. 
Fight back against the schemes of the enemy. Fight back against those negative thoughts with the truth. Have some verses in your back pockets. Have some verses memorized so that you can pull them out and speak them over yourself and refer to them during those hard times, during times when you need to be reminded of the truth. Okay, you guys, and I also have one little bonus tip. It's not gonna be like an official tip, just like something, something to think about. A lot of the times, and this could just be for me, but I feel like it's easier to feel anxious and to overthink about things in your life and things like that when you are spending a little too much time just thinking about yourself. When you realize like, I've only really thought about myself today and my needs and my worries not so much on other people. But if you take a look around and take your eyes off yourself, then your worries won't be the center of your world. So maybe go serve at your church, call a friend, ask how their day was, volunteer, do a kind act of service for someone else. Because sometimes, I'm not saying that it can apply to all situations, but sometimes it really helps to just take your eyes off of your own self, not holding yourself up in your room with only your thoughts and your problems and your issues, and go out and serve others, listen to the story of others, involve yourselves in the lives of other people. Sometimes it might just be as simple as that, as getting out of your own head. So that's my little bonus tip for you guys, but I hope that this video could be helpful to you guys in some way. Um, and keep in mind, I'm not a mental health professional. These are just five or five and a half practical things that have really, really helped me um, when I go through them in my mind for when I'm feeling anxious or just thinking negative thoughts. These just really help me to find peace in the midst of anxiety and to trust God and to remind myself of the truth and his word. So I hope this is able to help someone else as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more faith-based videos on my channel and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!